All right, chip of the day. Everybody loves chip of the day. So we have a CD 4013. I haven't featured many 4000 series parts, but a few of 4066 and stuff, but we should probably go through some of the 4000 series chips. And there's a good reason to um, think about using 4000 series chips, and we'll get to that. But this one is a dual flip, a dual D type flip flop. And you say, hey, uh, I know dual D type flip flop. That's a 7474, one of the most common chips. Yeah, here's a 7474. And, and um, yeah, it's basically the same chip, um, except it, um, the pinouts are different. Okay, the, the pinouts are different on the, uh, the 4013. Okay, so the cool thing about D flip flops is they're edge triggered. That's nice. And so you can, if you have things that have spikes and you want to turn it into a 50% square wave, you can use a D flip flop to do that. Um, the cool thing about 4000 series parts is. Um, the VCC, you can run them up to 20 volts. <laughs> That's absolute maximum. But yeah, you can run these things up to 18 volts. Here we go. A recommended uh, three volts to 18 volts. Look at that, down to three volts and up to 18 volts. That is really, really nice uh, operating range. So a lot of times you wanna have um, a simple digital circuit amongst a bunch of analog circuits and you don't want to change your 12 volt supply and regulate it down to 5 volts or your 15 volt. Anyway, you can run, run this at 12 volts. You can run this at 15 volts. Yeah, these are these are great little parts. All right. So uh, I think the other thing that's different between the let's see here, low, low. No, they have the same. They have the same truth table. Uh, if you want it to um, act as a flip-flop, you know, toggle each time, you have to set the, uh, the preset and the clear both, to, both low. And that's true for uh, the 4013 as well. Okay, so let's hook one up. Hey, look, there's already one hooked up. wonder who did that. Okay, um, so I have a 555 timer generating a clock. And we're going to put it into the flip-flop, or one half of the flip-flop. Um, one flip-flop is on one side of the chip, and one flip-flop is on the other side of the chip, so that's nice. And um, I have the uh, circuit like this hooked up. All right. So I have the clock coming in. Again, it's positive edge triggered. And uh, we have not Q going into D. So every time you get a rising edge, it takes the content of not Q and changes the Q to be that value. So if this is a one and this is, this say this is a zero one, then the next clock will come around and says, ah, this is a one. I'll shove a one in here and then a zero will be in here. And then the next time around it comes along in a clock, it sees a zero here and it makes this one zero. Then this one toggles to one. So. That's the way the circuit works. And uh, this is what you get, okay? So the top is the 555 timer and the bottom is the, uh, the D-type flip-flop. So every rising edge, it changes states. Pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, simple little chip. Um, this is running at five volts. Let me, oops, bump into the camera. Uh, let's see here, just a second. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and increase the uh, voltage. Now you're saying, oh, wait a minute, the timing is changing too. Well, that's the 555 doing that, <laughs> not the, not the uh, 4013. All right, so let's change the, uh, oops, change these to five volts per division. There we go. So we have these set to five volts division. Uh, 7 volts VCC, let's take it up to 10 volts VCC, the 555 goes up high too, so we'll take it up to 15 volts VCC, here's 15 volts, and we'll take it up to 18, which is what it's supposed to be rated at for general general usage. There we go, 18 volts, wacka wacka wacka. Um, yeah. 
I guess we learned two things today. One is uh, the 4013. The other is uh, be careful about your 555s. Uh, the uh, timing will change depending on the uh, VCC. Okay, that was chip of the day, a CD4013B, a CMOS dual D-type flip-flop.